In this video, let's talk about the resonance compensation and the pressure advance. They help to improve the print quality. All you need to do is to follow the instructions and get the values. Then add them to the configuration file. Go to printer.cfg, find the input shaper field. That's the values you need to change. After that, go to the extruder.cfg. Find the pressure advance. That's the value you need to change. Go to the ringing frequency area. Copy the commands one by one. Paste them into the console field, then proceed. You will see the feedback from the system. Make sure you don't miss any line. Step 8 shows how to measure the print to get the value. And there is another way. Which is using the ADXL345. We believe it is much more precise. For more information, please check this document. Alright, let's get started. Find the ring tower file, then print it. We have the STL sliced as requested. Then waiting for a while. Alright, it starts. Meanwhile, we can add a camera to the pad. Clipper also supports cameras. It helps in monitoring the printing or making the time-lapse videos. Please use high-resolution and driver-free cameras. All you need to do is plug it into the USB port. And get a good position to put it. The dashboard should have a vision now. Go to the webcams, you can change the settings to adjust it. Besides, if you want to make time-lapse videos, update settings in the time-lapse field. Then check the timelapse.cfg. We will make a tutorial for this in the future with the customized version of the system image. It should be read only since we have no root permission. We will show you how to customize your pad system, too. The test print also works as normal. It changes settings in every layer. So the results help to get the value we need. Once you finish, measure the print as the instructions shows. Since we already get the results, let's skip it. Click cancel on the screen. The printer will stop at the current point. Then click on the right button back to the home screen. Lift the print head in the move settings. That's how easy to control it with the clipper screen.
Take away the print and clean the bed. Alright, the pressure advance. Some command lines and another print. Just print the file then measure it as the instruction shows. Reboot the system to reset the previous command lines. Proceed to the command line as before. Choose the second line for the KP3S Pro. Then skip the third one. You are all set. Go to the G code files. Find the square tower and print it. That's it. This file was sliced as requested, too. If you want to make one by yourself, please read the instructions and slice it correctly. We skip it, too. The values we measured have been stored in the configurations. But we suggest you test it for your own situation. Those values are affected in many ways. Remove the print and clean the bed. Prepare the printer for a normal print. Let's print that famous Benchy. Alright, it's printing. Your printer can print fast and good right now. We will bring more tutorials on Clipper soon. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing. See you in the next video.